Julia Pongrantz of the Carnegie Institution's Department of Global Ecology is lead author of a new study on the impact of historical events on global climate. It's a common misconception that human impact on climate began with the large-scale burning of coal and oil in the industrial era. Humans started to influence the environment thousands of years ago by changing the vegetation cover of the earth when we cleared forests for agriculture. During high mortality events such as wars and plagues, large areas of croplands and pastures have been abandoned and forests have regrown, absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. On the other hand, clearing forests releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere when the trees and other vegetation are burned or when they decay. The rise in atmospheric carbon dioxide resulting from deforestation is recognizable in ice cores from Greenland and the Antarctic that predate the fossil fuel era. The research used a global climate carbon cycle model to track how land use affected climate during four major events from 800 AD to the present. They are the Mongol invasions in Asia from 1200 to 1380, the Black Death in Europe from 1347 to 1400, the conquest of the Americas from 1519 to 1700, and the fall of the Ming Dynasty in China from 1600 to 1650. During the short events such as the Black Death and the Ming Dynasty collapse, the forest regrowth wasn't enough to overcome the emissions from decaying material in the soil. During the longer lasting ones like the Mongol invasion and the conquest of the Americas, there was enough time for the forest to regrow and absorb significant amounts of carbon. The Mongol invasions had the biggest impact of the four events studied. Regrowth on depopulated land stockpiled nearly 700 million tons of carbon absorbed from the atmosphere. This is equivalent to the world's total annual demand for gasoline today. Dwarfing each of these events, however, has been the historical trend towards increasing deforestation. Over centuries, this has released vast amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere as crop and pasture lands expanded to feed growing human populations. The global impact of forest regrowth and even the long-lasting events was diminished by the continued clearing of forest elsewhere in the world. The study is relevant to today's climate issues by showing how land use choices can alter the global carbon cycle. Today, about a quarter of the net primary production on the Earth's land surface is used by humans in some way, mostly through agriculture. In the past, our impact on climate and the carbon cycle has been unintentional, but we are now in a position to make land use decisions that will diminish our impact on climate and the carbon cycle. The study is published in the January 20, 2011 online issue of The Holocene. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.